Hello, hello, Botasic here. Got a game for ya. For Manners Memories. Let's check the option. Okay, camera sensitivity. Let's drop this down some. A little bit. Let's check out the controls. Inventory. Oh my gosh. So I gotta make moves quick. Lantern, lantern, move camera, control support, what? All right, folks, let's do it to it. All right, come on, load the graphics up. Let's load them up. Let's load them up. So be smooth run, smooth run. We good? Oh, we good. What we got? Good job, can you please get that clock switch so we can have time. I've asked you a thousand times. I know you didn't like my father, but this clock means a lot to me and my family. I've taken your tools out of the garage and left them in the cupboard near the door. I also be gentle with Simon. He is still shaking up from my last fight. He is a good kid and all I ask of you is to be a good role model. You're even failing at that. Maria. Bitch, if that ain't my kid, I'll leave him. All right, never mind. Whatever, whatever. Love is love. Love is love. But you talk, you talk that smiggity smack to me one more time. Fix your daddy clock. You got some nerve. Get smart, me. You want me to fix something for you? Oh, you better give me some. Mm. When I get home. Door lock. Let's check this door. First off, it look good. The game look good. It look real good. What we got? <clears throat> Excuse me. My mother and I have been writing a, a song for me. My father played on a piano for a birthday. It was her idea. However, I don't see why we are even bothering to try. She wants me to show him how well I have done teaching myself to play, but he has never bothered to teach me himself or even give me the time of day to listen to my other songs I've written. I know she hates him. They all do is argue. All they do is argue, and he's always angry. And he never looks at me. He is such a hateful man. I don't know why my mother is trying to appease him. I hate him. Yeah, from a kid's perspective, I understand. When I see that happen. John, can you please talk to Simon? He wrote you a song to play together. And you haven't shown him an ounce of effect. And he was distraught and ripped up the sheet. I left it on your desk in the study. And I try my best to repair it. So please read it and try to learn that song for him. Yes, dear. I ain't gonna do it, dear. Inventory, what I got? There's two keys? I guess it's automatic? Door unlocked. Let's go. Tell me, look good. This just look really good. Too soon. Holy crap. Is it open? Cool. 
What we got here? John and I got into a fight again today, and he managed to break my family grandfather clock. I was trying to get through to him, but he was always in that office basking in the glory days and never paying me or his son any attention. And I mostly feel for Simon. I wanted him to know what it felt like to have a father figure in his life, which is the one thing I can't give to him. And it's all, it's all has gone downhill since we moved to this new house. I never wanted to move here. It was his idea. This seclusion from everyone is nauseating. Easy enough for a person to go mad. I, I bet he won't even notice if we packed up our things and left for tomorrow. Well, that sucked. Also, my father didn't enter the library today. He never saw me. Which is normal with him. I watched him from the doorway in the library as he opened some passage that I never seen him before. Behind one of the bookcases. I had no idea where it led, so I waited for a while outside the library to see if he wanted to, if he would rear his face again, but he never did. Instead, I saw him come out the front of his office. Okay. Whoa! No, 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 no! He kicked me out? It kicked me? Okay, it just kicks me out. It didn't kill me. So he's like a reset. But that was scary. He was talking to us. <laughs> he ain't talk like that, but still, man, don't touch me. Oh, you can run. I forgot you can run. Hold up. Open the door. There you go. Guess I gotta make a move. This is happening. This isn't happening. This can't be real. I have to be dreaming that his world is cool and I've taken it away from me. He will be home soon. He has to be. <laughs> Dead gone it. So it's obvious that door is locked. Okay, whatever, whatever. But what secret bookcase? I'm gonna find a bookcase. Watch. Watch me now. I'm gonna find the bookcase now. So that ghost is patrolling the area. All right. These have been the worst days of my life. The powers above must be punishing me for something, but what I don't know. I'm a terrible mother and a terrible wife. Don't think like that. Just because he's terrible doesn't mean you are. You dig? Go in here, go in here, go in here. Very good, very good. Crowbar, I like that. That's cheating! That is... Run! Run, run, get out. Nope. Got me. Crowbar. For what, though? I gotta find out where he at. He chop man, look. All right, I came through here, saw those. Don't look, just run across. Huh? 
All right. What, what we got? What we got? Maybe we just every day I still find myself stopping this leap. Every day I walk the hall, sure, so empty and quiet. Oh. Uh, pause, y'all, cause I ain't. I ain't really read it like I should have. Where is it? I don't know where it's at. Why are you still chasing me? The light can stop you. Do 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 do. And I know now, buddy. You're gonna show me the wrong thing. Show me the wrong thing. I'm not stop you now, buddy. All right, let's go. All right, so I got a crowbar. A crowbar, of what? I'm sure it's on one of these papers. Fine. Oh, I was here before, right? Yes, I was. Hmm. Okay. Oh boy, you bet not. You bet not. I got something for you. I got something for you. Come on, baby. Light my fire. All right. Every day I still find myself popping. Every day. There's memories. Come on, y'all. Bookshelf. Bookshelf. This is like a twenty minute gameplay runtime. How am I messing this up? There it is. I wish I had the Zelda uh, thing when you open up a secret. Bing, dong, ding, dong, ding, 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 ding. It's good enough. Good enough, you dig? Good enough. What we got? Uh, the death of Simon Fletcher has been confirmed today by the Maplewood Infirmary. Infirmary, either the be believe accidental circumstances uh, starting the death on Tuesday. Yeah, uh, so blah, blah, blah. Blah. blah, 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 blah. All right. So get the key. 
go back to the living room. Nice. But there's still stuff to read. Uh, my name is Sebastian Philip back and blah, 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 blah. I'll let y'all read it. Pause it. Let's get this other note over here. You come right at me, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can you fill up again? There you go. Start filling up for me, buddy. Start filling up for me, buddy. Okay, so I need you again. I think I'm gonna need you again. Those piano, those kind of weren't lit before. Oh wow! Nice, very good. This is a clean. Well made game. And for the devs that's watching, I apologize for not actually reading everything. I should have taken the time to read it. You took the time to make the game. But I'm sure there's something that gotta deal with uh family issues. That sucks though have family issues, man. Some people are just don't have it like that. They got you know I don't know. Let me let me not be the judge. That is God's decision. Other than that, this is a great game. I'm glad I played it. But with that being said, I'm fantastic. This is the Manners Memories, and I am gone.